I'm talking about right? My life has been draw, drawn towards children. In the 80s, for some of you who were um, big enough, in the 80s, I used to be on the radio at the other age, surprise package for children. And I have, I have, I have just loved children and I worked with them all along. And so when, when I was given the invitation to be here on this occasion, I could step down, I have to come. Uh, but please, as I leave, I want to leave the will of might. The will of might. And I want to see two brothers, Abiga and two brothers, Robert K. Williams. Thank you for this program. And uh, to my own son and brother, um, Bishop Kuhn, I want to say thank you for this, for sharing it. And I say, God bless you, whatever we can do. Please don't hesitate, follow me. I'll do what I want to do in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Our father and grandfather and Prince Manuel family are uh, giving those inspirational words to us. Uh, we now quickly continue and we would like to do some necessary adjustments. We start to enjoy the children and so we will continue. We will now go to testimony by the beneficiary. So.
they develop another word and they will be giving us the meaning of those words that they develop from those letters. So we'll be calling on the educators, I stay to the end, the educators, our future leaders.
We say stop discrimination. They are going to tell us or they are going to show us how we should stop discrimination.
2014. So I went to his office in Sinko. And I shared a dream. So he asked me, what name should we put on this organization? And I said, name for the kingdom of God. Oka, that was hope for children and aging. And acronym, in Oka, H-O-C-A. So we brainstormed him out. He said, let us, from what you explained, let it be restoration of hope. You know, if you're educated, put together, what can happen? So we wrestled on it, and I said, oh, yes. Because, according to the dream and fiction, we need to restore the hope of children, vulnerable children, children with vulnerability, and the aging in the Republic of Nigeria. So we came up with the name, Restoration of Hope for Children and Aging. So then, immediately, we thought of who will bring up Bo as Bo directors. And he asked me, do you know Bishop Kuhn? I said, who you are talking about? He said, Bishop Kuhn, Balabeo. I said, ah. Well, Bishop Kuhn is my brother. He said, sure. He said, because to get to him is very difficult. I said, he said, I said, okay, wait for me. Immediately, I died with Bishop's number. But when I died, his number, it seemed to be he was busy. So he didn't answer. And I began to say, sure, let me know you. I said, my brother, if that means cease my mail's call, I will say, you will call me. Why are you making the statement with your phone number start ringing? Bishop called me and said, Bishop, I want all to talk. He said, when do you want to come? Do you want to come now? You know, at the time, I was in Fennel. I looked at my schedule. I said, Bishop, get out the way within two days' time. He said, okay, come. And so I came over. And it was on the 19th of January. So I came over to him at the church in the office and I shared a dream with him. When I shared a dream, the bishop led by himself, oh. The first person of bishop asked me, bishop said, Brother Williams, you sure? I said yes. And bishop told me that my prayer had been answered. He said, no one. He said that I'm taking the pulpit always preaching. But I want to, to have something that you are just thinking about. Though I've been helping people in the community, people from different churches, doing such things that you just talk about. But I'm thinking how to implement it to bring it to fruition. And so thank God that you have come. And so God has answered my prayer. We can work together. And immediately, Bishop said to me, I'm offering you an offering immediately downstairs of my corridor. And Bishop is a man of action, and he took me immediately to the office. I told Abiga, I said, Abiga, I told you, I'm here now here with my brother. And here how we are going. And so after that, on the 6th of February, I also called a principal deputy of mine. You saw her here just now, Miss Grace Quick. She is my back boom. I called immediately. Portrayed and we started working again. And so, 
Bishop called me as well. He said, We need to go to take a bowl. I said, But Bishop, I do not want people on board that will give a hard time. So I want you to bring people that will work. Well, if you understand, it was my understanding as well. He said, But then choose, bring people. So I said, No, let me call Abiga as well. I said, Abiga, we need a board member. We need a, a board member of five. Now, we are two Bishop and I the executive director will always send a secretary on the board. And so our second secretary on the board, and Bishop is the board chair. So we need three persons. And Bishop, what you say? And Bishop said, what you say as well? But before I continue, I want all to please rise up in the move of silence for Johnny Second or somebody. You know, my God. I have our season. Thank you very much. When Peter called me as well, I have a brother in the church of I had a brother in the church of Pentecost. A brother that even when he's eating, when I call him, he will leave the food and come to me. The brother, and you know, friends and super, I call him. I call super. The brother never hesitated. He came immediately. We started working together. We started working together. So, during our time of work, we have a series of meetings. This notion we are talking about today, we started to play a very long time. We started operating from 2014, but we see our first article of incorporation, 2014. So in 2016, we met as a board member. 2017, in March, we are planned finally to meet and have our launching. Festival was in the meeting. We decided to do our launch in March, on March, the 29th of March. And so we sat in a meeting on the 19th of March. He said, No, we need to put this in place. I want us to have this, I want us to have our first workshop before the launch. He said, Yes. When are we going to have the workshop? He said, On the 22nd of April. That's what he said. So I said to us. The bishop said, yeah, okay, no problem. It's the next time we'll have a workshop. And so we invited people. The first, we invited all these institutions that were going to have the launching, I mean, the workshop along with us on the 22nd day. We were to have that workshop on the 22nd of April. Now, that, that's the day. You were very strong on that day. He said, the 22nd is the meet that was that Saturday. It will be the last Saturday and for half that workshop. And after the workshop, we'll take over the launching. We said, yes. So, we agreed. We started to work to work our workshop. We reached April. We started working. We put money together we, 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 on a day of that the, the, on a particular day of, that, of the workshop. We bought food, bought everything. My principal definitely prepared the food all. Oh. Our brother got ill and he was taking the corner. On that day, 22nd day, for us to just come for the workshop. I bought dress, went into the kitchen to tell my wife, man, how do I go? Am I alright? I hope my change to other things. I said, how do I go? I said, Bishop, we are coming. Bishop said, yeah, we are here, waiting for the workshop. Immediately, I received a call from my pastor on our 22nd day. He said, Brother Rama, your brother, friend is too bad, you don't make it, he died. I said, what? He made it, he made it, he was telling me that this particular day I'm calling in the day I will die. But we wanted to give God the glory. So on the 22nd, we never had a workshop. And then today we are doing the launch. I want to call my board members, or I think most of them are not here. And so the board members, uh, 
Est-ce que c'est installé là Non. Vous pouvez bichon là Ok, bichon là. Merci. Ok, si vous voulez, vous pouvez vous faire un peu So these are the, this is the lady who replaced and I found this too bad. And our replacement is not going to make any difference. She's beautifully obvious. So I just called it up here to just hug them because I wanted to give them a certificate, but the certificate is coming. But I want to hug them and shake their hands, and then it is a first time of the certificate. And after that, I will give you a brief testimony of pain. Then I will sit down. So, man, I want to hug you in the first place. God bless you. Be sure, brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, a real brother. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. So, we started the organization, and so these are the people that are really helping me. And I want to, before I take my seat, I want to take a quick testimony about myself. Twenty, in 2008, I was overturned to have gone for four stairs at an optimal college in Pretoria, South Africa. And there way I had a teacher, Dr. Dr. Chris Friend. He's a blind man. A blind man got two different degrees. This is a man who can be whole book here. This man took all a course. I want to acquire a certificate in institutional development. How to, how to constitute an institution. How to pick up an institution? How to bring people into, in, in, into an institution? That I will talk, I will talk about that man. The teacher us. And then when the man defined a word called talent, he said, Talent is something like a labor that is placed on a cover. He said, But you see the reflection of the labor until when you uncover it. I said, What do you mean? He said, That's talent. And so, when I had a dream and my mind reflected on this in, to the interpretation of the game about talent. So you see this story that I've come here today, a vision about this story. I always tell people I'm going to raise it. It's not all about me, it's not all about Bishop Kuhu, it's not all about Africa, it's not all about Louis Quay, and it's not all about any of the, the, the board members. You see, I was children in the community when they pray, school going time, you see some of them play Mawa, some of them play Lapa, they Come up here, the lapa. And you know, some of the people who are still in the community, it doesn't mean that they are crazy or they are stupid, but some of them, some of them don't have the means of going to school. School going time, you see some of them between the car, buy a ticket, buy a super day, do those things. Some of them, it, it doesn't mean that they don't want to go to school, but they don't have the means. And so I have that dream, that talent. I see these children, they have the talent. But the talent, it needs to be uncovered. And so they have a great thing about it. So the senior ladies and gentlemen, we have we have come to the launch of the organization. We want your help. We are not going to make it. This dream came just for us to help somebody. We want the song. If I can help somebody, we can help somebody with your need. We can help somebody with any support you think you do. So I want to thank you very much for coming. May God bless you. Let us help us, our children, that will be well educated. For me staying here, I'm a brown person. My God can keep on a whole family. A poor family. Somebody said in the family said, "What are they using that? What we doing here?" But somebody, it is a scholarship that brought me this far today, or where I am today, to do my master. Yeah. So, what somebody did for me, this is what I want to tell you what to do for somebody tomorrow. Because if people don't want to give me scholarship to go anywhere today, I am going to be in the street today, help the land, help the land. I'm not going to have a beautiful wife. So, the thing a little gentlemen, before I take my seat, I would like to introduce to you my beautiful wife. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Come 
there's a woman who cannot marry that this man is blind, but the woman have come to me and said that all this man, no, the man is blind, but I will help him and I will make him who he's supposed to be. And she did. Yes. yes. So, I want to thank you very much. We love you. Jesus name. Amen. There you have it. Do the all that are not married will pray that we'll find on this day. Amen. 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 We're going to waste our time. We will now go to the launching ceremony. Reverend Francis Colley, Executive Director of the Prison Fellowship Liberia, was invited to play this role. But he just returned to the country and cannot reach us. And so we will be calling on the board chairman that he talked to to proxy for him. So please put your hands together for our chief launcher. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Prophet Alayo Abuda Abunyan. And then when you hear the two of their names, it's almost like two brothers, a family thing. Well, Abnika Williams is from River Sets, and Rowan Williams is from Maryland County. I want to start by saying thank you very much for those of you that have made the sacrifice to be here even including our beneficiaries that are living here in such a way that we are glad that you came and this occasion is all about you. I want to say thank you for those of you that were officially invited, that we sent you letters and you made your way here. I want to say thank you for coming and we are glad to have you here. This program was meant to be short, and that is what it's going to be. So thank you for your sacrifice, because we know going to church, and after church, sometimes family meetings and all the things, when you left it to be here. Today, as we launch this program, I want you to see that this is a worthy cause. This program is worth you being here. You just saw the executive director of RICA, the Organization Restoration of Hope for Children and Aging. This is a man who is blind. And our culture makes us to understand that blind people should be in the street asking for help. And even when God helped them and blessed them, they still feel that they should get help from other people. But you can know that this is a dream for you. When somebody, according to our culture and our tradition, who's supposed to be asking for help, will position himself to be helping other people. That is why when Rabbi came to me, I did not hesitate. And I remember something that my mentor said before he died, the late Archbishop Benson Inahosa. He said, a blinded eye is far better than a blinded mind. There are many persons, their eyes are open, but their minds are blind. And so even when they are supposed to be helping, they remain in the position of a beggar. They are making no impact in society. I want to use this time to appreciate God for the life of Brother Robert Williams. And I want us to celebrate him with the How many persons today they are seeing, and not only that they are seeing, they have very huge bank accounts. Very huge bank accounts. 
accounts, how many of them today can cater to needs of people like this? For years of them, without physical sight and without bank accounts, yet want to make sacrifice to help other people. It touches me. And that is why I decided whatever it takes, the resources will also be added. And we look around to gather other people who have the heart, have the compassion like us to see other people being blessed, to see other people being helped. Like I said on the radio talk shows, it is not sufficient for me to be on the pulpit and preaching the goodness of God. And not reaching out there in the community to share the goodness of God with other people. There are some of us pastors who can stand to testify. God has blessed me. I got 16 mansions. I got 24 cars. But yet we are not happy in the land. What God will continue to bless people for is the help that He gave other people to raise them to the country. And so today we come to appeal to those of you that are here. We invited so many persons. We invited a lot of people. We spent money, we went on radio. We went on several talk shows. So that people who have the feelings for other people, people who feel like they should help other people, they can come here today to join us. Well, we know that you are the right people that God has for this time. And we know that soon that I'm not here, maybe something is responsible, even like our chief launcher. He just called us. He was out of the country. He just came in last night. And today he has a series of meetings to settle some other issues on the ground. So he couldn't leave those activities. And that is why he couldn't make it here today. But his heart is here. Amen? Amen. So I'm standing in for him. Even though we, we are the fourth part of this organization, we are making so much contributions, but we still want to be here to see what we can do. So there are some that we invited and they are here today. We say thank you for coming and we want you to continue to help us. And our launching is not just what you can give today. We want you to understand that we have forms. You can even go and meet with our administrative people, says Louis, Brother Tom, Brother Richard, you can meet with them. These are people that take care of our administration. And you can look at the data of children that we have. We have over 172 children that we have in our data looking for sponsors for them, looking for a way to help them. You can go there and pray and choose one or two of them and say, I will help to take care of these ones. From elementary to high school, you can go in our data, look at them, pick one or two, three, four, five, whatever you think you can afford, and you make them your own responsibility to give them help. If you just fill that form for that child, say, this is the child I've chosen, this is the child I want to help, and we make sure we give you the report of everything, give you the school, you know, um, the school requirement paper and everything, and you know what you are paying with them, we make sure you get your copy of your receipts and you receive progress report of that child that you are sponsoring through the organization. It will be a great blessing. Amen? Amen. So today, as we launch this organization, we don't want you to think that we're just going to give today and forget about us. No. We want you to keep coming around. Our office is here, right in the same building. Just downstairs there at the back, you can come and meet with our administrators. We share our numbers with you, our office numbers, and those, the, those of the staff numbers that you can get in touch with. And you can call us anytime and say, well, when I was at the program, or maybe you are not here and you are watching this somewhere, you can say, well, I wasn't there or I was at the program, but at the time, you know, I didn't know what to do. But now I think God has helped me and I want to help somebody, I want to come around. Or can you just give me the list of one or two persons, the names of one or two persons, that I can be a blessing to that I can help. 
And then we had the old people. Like 26 came yesterday. Some of them didn't even have to eat. Christmas coming, they don't have anything to eat. Some of them are abandoned. Some of them don't have children at all. They don't have anybody. But we want to be there for them. We want to be God's hands. We want to be God's feet. And so we are calling on anyone that can help us. So that we can reach out to these people. I remember, I don't know, was it Christmas or what? When we prepared little rice and, you know, soap and a few things. I mean, 500 liberty and gave it to those people. It was the heaven came down for them. Just occasionally. We want to encourage as many of you as we launch today to be a blessing to this organization. We want you to also go out and spread the news. If you see somebody who is looking for a way to help, tell them you know an organization that they can pass their help through. And God will bless you for that. Because you might not have it financially, but you know somebody who can afford. God will bless you. So that we can be a blessing to the old people and blessing to the children. Look at those children, those beneficiaries that, that demonstrated here today. Don't you think that they deserve going far in their education? They deserve it. But sometimes they are stuck. Right now, imagine what is happening. In our country today, the economy is somehow, and schools are carrying their tuitions off. Most of the children might not be able to make it if somebody doesn't give them a pooch. So we are appealing to every one of you. Even after this program, if you can watch this video anywhere, we are appealing to you to come and help us here in Liberia. Come and help break out the restoration of hope for the children and the aging. Amen? Amen. And so now I want to go straight into the launching because we don't want to take much of your time. The chief launcher, which will have done this, called me and said, Bishop, I'm sorry that I just can't make it to be there. But I want to launch at least, I want to start up, and I will stay be with the organization. And he said, I should announce that he's giving 30,000 material dollars. <laughs> but you know, sometimes when you are not there, you might not know the pressing need so it's not yet. So it doesn't mean that you are limited to that amount. So if you are here and you can do more than that, you are welcome to do it. In that president, most of the president when they go somewhere, what they give, nobody can go above it. So he's not president and he's not here. So if God touches your heart to do more than that, you can do more than that. God bless you. Amen. Amen. So he has given 30,000 Liberian dollars. Even though we are the ones that are supporting and doing everything, we do our best, we share our little resources, we pay due every month, we give contributions, but at the same time, since I'm standing for him, eh? I myself, I will give 15000 dollars <laughs> So I will now call on the prophet, uh, Abiga Williams, Amen. A popular man from radio. Yeah, yeah. So if you're here, you if you're all kind of station, and then all the people to the Methodist station, everything is there. But they gave me the witch church if you don't do it. You want a Methodist station? Talk to you now, that Methodist book. But anyway, you can open the Bible. And then the Bible opens, so everybody is an open Bible. So you may help me to call the list. And those of you that are officially invited, you are here, as we call you, can come up. And if you want to say something, no problem, and give your little contribution. God bless you. Prophet, let's go.
So you have to go out, you want to say something? You go, go find out and start calling our list. Imagine, says the brother just for the program, came all the way from Ganta. And the whole man in the border in Ganta. To make sure the wrong flag doesn't come here. You know, the wrong thing that doesn't come here. So the powerful board member, she married, she board member and she married board up. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to appreciate God for this program. And God so bless me, at least I want to come here. So on behalf of, let's say, I have a devotion meeting to the board of there. Before the board of there, I will make sure I have devotion before we can start the work. And to that devotion, we are there for letting one, one and two things. But I just decided to bring 5,000 for the devotion. Amen. 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 And my brother there too, he says, yeah, we are happy with 3,000. And on behalf of my children, we give 5,000. Thank you so much. That's how the boat came for us. You know the boat that many said, that's how the boat came for us. Thank you. You know, when you on the political side, you don't want to be really content. So the boat never could not be here. And we don't start with the boat. Uh, quickly, we'd like to continue. And we'll continue with the roll call of our invitees. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Kiewer, put your hands together. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, I want to just say a big thank you to this organization for the NS of the to watch the last of the On behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Kiewer, I would like to present this and they want to present to the organization. Thank you so much. Next is Mr. and Mrs. James Chelly. Put their hands together, James Chelly.
Thank you, Brother Mike. Amen. 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 It is life when God is in it, and when Lord is in it, even the time that Lord tells you that your heart is in what we are doing. Please put your hands together for Mr. and Mr. Stephanie Howard. Thank you. Hey. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. On behalf of Mr. Administrator, Kesel Itawe, I stay here today to tell God thank you for this great vision there is. I actually want to say thank you to our dear vision. Because if you have a front, if there is no back, you will be able to move. So daddy, I salute you. I say God bless you. As a God bless you, bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. James Reynolds, to be followed by James Quinn. Minister James Reynolds. Yeah. Mr. Wow. Mr. Jesus, thank you. I've blessed us so much for your vision. Vision has a little good. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a vision. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm an evangelist. In Jesus' name. Amen. I bless God so much for this program to help children that my dream. In Jesus' name. Amen. And as I was, I would like to say for God to give me strength to evangelize for this vision. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. The evangelist will call the vision. Put the hands together again for our evangelist. If one care of nobody's name will be able to pick and help. Next we have Mr. Hashmi Pusa. I'm not very good at calling names. Are you here? Okay, we continue. Ms. Jimama Bronze. Mr. and Mrs. Shema Nyinka. Mrs. Ellen Abbas. Mr. and Mrs. Charles Zuta. Mr. and Mrs. Harris. Oh, who is that? We are aware of us. I will call that open to love, love you. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Della. Mr. and Mrs. Charles Ruta. Mr. and Mrs. James Terry. Oh, man, you know, I'm going back on. Mr. and Mrs. Lamin Toka Jr. Oh, I'm going back one. Sorry, please forgive me. My glasses. This is comfort. Kwewu. Kwekwe. Paul G. Ba. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Bakara Johnson. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kabe. Kabye, okay. Mrs. Deborah Suba, Mrs. Kevin Parker, Mr. Charles Davis, Mr. Benjamin Dobber, Ms. Justino Williams, Mr. Sim S. Kier, Ms. Tita Provo. If you are representing anyone, please, when the name is mentioned, you can please come forward. Mr. C. Damawa Kekula, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Nirko Dako, that is me, Mr. Nirko Dako, she is a Mr. Nirko Dako, Mrs. Nirko Moses, Mr. Andrews Ja, Apostle Samuel B. Carr, Elder Sussex K. Robson, Mrs. Ophelia Mokoto, Mr. and Mrs. Chie, Pastor and Mother Christopher Papa, 
Bishop Zhu, Pastor Bill Hina, Evangelist Joseph Slewian, Miss Natalie, Mr. and Mrs. Emmanuel Khan, Mr. Matthew Snowy, Mrs. Vanry Walker. We now like to come to the Church of Pentecost family, of which Elder Williams is a part. If we have any representation here for the Church of Pentecost, and you want to make a contribution, you can come. But for the sake of the roll call, we have the Church of Pentecost, Jacob Town Assembly, Dupont Road Assembly, Chocolate City Assembly, and Banuji Assembly. Why the two names? Oh, okay, Mr. Bud, okay, let's start from there first, then we'll come back on. Praise the Lord. For and on behalf of the Church of Pentecost, but not the Assembly, we want to say to your executive director, our presiding elder, our arm is always open to this particular organization, and we want to even make this organization our own. We will always be there. And we'll always be open to this organization and your support in Jesus' name. Thank you. Church of Pentecost. Are you saying that? Okay, we will now call on Mr. Bridges M. Quay. Praise the Lord. Okay, um, it is stated that. Now, every successful man lies a very strong woman. Yeah. Yeah. Vice versa. Now, yeah. yeah. every successful woman yeah. lies a strong man too. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I'm always there to give support to my wife. Yeah. And also, you know, I appreciate the executive director so much. He also has my number, he doesn't know me, but he will call anytime and you know, ask me for information. One time he even said, for me, I hope you will not get better with because I said, for any time, any time, because we need to help the little kids. And so I can show you that I will always be behind my wife to push this organization forward. Thank you very much. Mr. Quinn, thank God we are in the church and I will not be here in contempt. I will not make, I may ask it and no police will arrest me. Yeah. Next is Mother Bendu Masakwe. Our own Usema, our own Boma. We say we support the project in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs> what we now like to leave the, uh, we now like to call on you if you are here and did not receive formal invitation, but you will have a heart to be a blessing to the children and our mothers and fathers, our friends. Or senior citizens, you can come forward to make a contribution or say a word. We didn't send you a letter when you are here by other means, probably through the radio or you know, we invited you through our services and whatever. You know, if you want to say something, you want to do something, even if it's not immediate, you can still come on. I can't do it now, but I think I'm going to do it in the future. I was supposed to do it in the future. You want to wear the last deal? Thank you. Amen. You know, we have a lot of people, and why are they having a very good energy? That's the way. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are sitting in your seat, and I can imagine 
and reading your heart that you want to be a blessing to this organization. Or you're trying to calculate your income for the month. And say, oh, I want to be a blessing to this organization. But I give you a full 5,000 of money. Or the 5,000 I can afford, maybe you only there to take care of my needs. But we have a sponsorship form, like our bishop was saying. He said, maybe you can take one or you can take two. But you don't have the money to sponsor one or two. And you are sitting in your seat. We have the sponsorship form, the money donation form. Any amount that you can give to be of help to these people that you see sitting here today, you can be of help to them. And we will be, we can assure you that everything that you will give record. We will give you an account. We have a mobile money number and say, maybe I don't want to take care of a child because tuition now is not easy. But I don't want to take care of two, three children because tuition now is not easy. But I can make a commitment. It is commitment. Maybe I am able to afford 200 every month. Or I am able to afford 500 every month. Or I want to have four one thousand every month, or I can get five hundred after every three months. We still appreciate it because we get twenty percent, twenty committed percent, fifty or twenty committed percent. I tell you, I can assure you that these people that are sitting here today, or these children that are sitting here today, with your two hundred. Your TD hundred, we can provide them educational material at least twice a year, meaning first semester and second semester. I think you have the program sheet in your hand, and you are gazing at some of the photos in the program sheet. We may get educational material, but we don't want to be limited to it. Maybe other people will come from out there and say we want to help Reka. But what are some of the services that Reka been producing or been providing for these kids? And we have the evidence in our hand, we can show it. They say Reka have been giving copy books, Reka have been giving nutritional benefit, Reka have been giving step to these kids. And with that, they can be encouraged to say, okay, we can trust Reka and we will. Give whatsoever we have, we will give it to Rekha. We don't want Rekha to be limited. But internally, we can do something as we search out there to get international support. Rekha will leave from one level to another level. So I want to encourage you, we have the donation form. If you can contribute $20, Every month, and you can contribute 1,000, and you can contribute 200. We have the mobile money. You can send it to mobile money. And at the end of the service, if you are interested, you can beat me. I will put down your name. You give me your phone number and your address. I thank you. Thank you. We see some work. I'm not very good at this other area. Can you get a board to come join you? Let me some that person wash it and each of us come and give our offering. Thank you. Well, our praise is that this is Laura. Yeah, please come to us in a song as we sing to give our thanks to the Lord. Yeah, our usher will give. Yeah, our usher there. Usher us. Come and go now. Shout, shout. Tonya. So then I believe he gave the power to become a sons of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Amen. And so, Father, we want to thank you for this time. We thank you, O oh God, for this unique program. Father, Mary, as you have given, we pray that this offering, O oh God, be used for the eternal purpose of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much. You may be seated. You have a prayer point? The money should be used for the eternal purpose. And into the why? You have yes or yes, then yes. Why not we be shouting that? Don't trust that people. You know how to do it. Amen? Well, by way of information, to get to the organization for any information you need or for support to make a contribution, you may call the following numbers. Zero triple seven or zero seven 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 eight zero 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 five two zero seven 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 eight zero 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 five two and zero seven 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 that people like the real way nine six six seven five two again zero seven 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 or seven 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 now take six, seven, five, two are the numbers to call for any information or if you want to make a contribution. At this time, we will call on our evangelist to join me to offer a prayer for the organization for God's divine favor and blessing. Yeah, I'm going to call you Fisher, sir, but I'm going to Fisher, sir, in my position. Jesus, sir, sir, our God, we say thank you because you are God, but the sir, you are a God, you never fail, oh God. Father God, we compel the program into your hands, oh God. Every torture, oh God. Father God, may you provide for your children, oh God, to be a blessing, oh God, to someone, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we saw our life with the blood of Jesus, oh God. We have everything in the blood of God because you are the God of our life in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Remarks? Any volunteer can come forward to for remarks. We'll take one meal and one female remark. Okay, can I get a volunteer for a remark? We will then go to our photo place. Oh, put your hands together for our volunteer. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. By the way of the Dorsham, I'm Deacon Joe Esuna of the Church of Pentecost. I want to be grateful to God that I'm counting the morning living. Praise the Lord. I'm also thankful to God for this great organization. That's been organized by my father, the spiritual father, who is bringing me up, who is always telling me things about the goodness of God. If I can see me putting a hand in another organization that is beneficial to the society at large, and something wonderful. Praise the Lord. I want to please put your hand together for my daddy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Well, this daddy is doing something wonderful, not only in the life of those that he ministering the word of God to, now he's trying to extend it in the world at large. Praise the Lord. Helping people is necessary. Meeting people who preach the Bible, they will talk about giving. And giving can come in many ways. This should be one of the ways. Praise the Lord. He's organizing or he's putting an organization together that will help people who don't have, and I will help children who are not going to school. I will help for our bishop. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I want to be grateful to God for the vision that God has given him to establish the identical organization. And also to his co workers, those who are making sure that things work out. It's my prayer that God will help them that everything that they need to see to it that this identical organization 
We move forward. It is my prayer that God provide for her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Put that hands together. We now turn over to Mrs. Deborah Sebe for our own of thanks. Go ahead. My mother had only two children, two girls. My little sister, she, she left school business. But my father was a good talk. Whenever he go to home, when he bring the meat, and he was a town chief, and my mother was the president for the woman in the, in the town. They never knew anything about home. But each time my father bring the meat, my mother would go hell of a pot on the fire. In the morning, see, people were just arriving at our house, they feel be packed. They were for my mother fishing. My sister, my sister will be crying. She just be crying. They say, but you know what happened to you? She cried to you. I said, no, my auntie show. She said, but why be crying? They poor painter was going to go down for. They poor painter was going to go down for. You know, my wife is still very much. So I'm afraid I was going to go down for. My mother was going to go down for. You know, I came out in a way that God so blessed me. My parents, they love people. My parents really love people. Even when my mother was cooking, she would make sure she would keep food inside. Maybe chaos will come. Because always, people always come in here, our house for food, for happy hands, and all of things. But I just want to appreciate, but even though my parents are there now, since 79, my mother died, I came, my father died, my, old, my younger sister left me in the world, if I say, but I just want to appreciate God for what God is doing. I want to encourage you. I want to appreciate you for coming. And your coming here is not in vain. Every cent you spend here today, even your time that, spend, that you spend here today is not in vain. God will bless you more. The little money you gave today, I, I, want to, I want to encourage you that your part will never go dry. Even in your house where people are crying for, for food, you will never go empty. You will be a blessing to generations to come. People that also there, we can give one to people that know that God is real. God is real. Because for me, when they say poverty, that for me, the enemy said nothing goes out of me. But when I get to the light of Jesus Christ, my story changed. I'm a blessing to a generation. I'm not afraid of giving me one hundred thousand to somebody. I'm not afraid. Because I know my God, God and I say is my source of income. Yeah. So I'm not afraid to give to people. I just want to appreciate God for Bishop who incorporated me in the last meeting, in the last program. Even this, uh, I don't know, in my call, this meeting. I just want to appreciate God because my dream is God. I want to be continued in that period. That's my dream. That I will be full clothing for people to be blessed. Amen. Because that's my dream. And I know everyone else are here, even though don't feel bad, than a place that packed. Mm. But the little that are here, if you have the heart, if you have the heart in the mind, God will bless you. Amen. I just want to appreciate everyone of us are here today. Let God bless everybody and let God bless your hands and be free, free, free and come next time. No, next year will not be, it will not be like this, it will be more than this. Yeah. And we believe that we'll be continuing. And speaking from this altar today, I know I'll be continuing close and we'll be blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. We believe it with all of our hearts that God is able to do anything and everything. Amen. I will ask that we all stand. And I will ask the volunteers to come forward to close us in prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. So God be the glory for creating me and God. And he continues to do in our lives. 
That's great. Father, we say thank you. Because you are a faithful God. He said, Lord, faithful you are covered and you will do it. So God, we come today at your feet to worship you for what you have done and continue to do in our lives. We say, Lord, today you have come to show us and be our help to those that need it. Oh God, we pray today at our heart and receive this great message. May we work towards it, oh God, and will be our help to others. We pray today, Araka, oh God, your divine purpose that you have prepared will come externally to them in the name of Jesus. We pray that God, the near, the near, oh God, will be attached to this organization in the name of Jesus. Those that have money, oh God, and don't know what to do, may they 